All right, you got three minutes of weather geekdom coming up here. So here we go. Live picture from the 21C Museum Hotel. So we're looking right over the top of Thursday Night Live. Uh, but that is a shelf cloud that you're seeing right there. We've had a wall cloud extending down from it at times. That's where the updraft is actually taking place into the cloud. The shelf cloud is expanding out now as the storm likely is going through a collapsing phase. But you also see there is a shaft of really heavy rain. Northwestern part of Fayette County. So you're going out uh, Mays, or Main Street. There becomes Leestown Road. So again, it'll be north of that. So there's one interesting look at it. How about this one from the Lexington Financial Center? So again, there is what's left of your wall cloud there. It was non-rotating, uh, but you've got that in there. So you've got the inflow. There's the outflow. And again, how, what's, okay, you can see what's happening here. The storm is sending down the shaft of rain, so it comes straight down. Well, when it hits the ground, it's got to go somewhere. So what does it do? It spreads out horizontally. So that's something of a microburst taking place. They're likely a weak one, but you're seeing probably some 20, 30 mile per hour winds underneath that. This is even cooler from the Lexington Financial Center. Let's just run this time lapse here for you. And again, you'll see the evolution of this. It's going through cycles, similar to what the storms did yesterday. You can see the shafts of rain coming down here. There's another inflow going right on in there. You see the scud clouds that develop underneath. So again, just some interesting stuff. So where are the storms? Max Track Live Doppler will pinpoint these for you. The one we've been looking at is that one right there from Donnerail on up to Georgetown. You're getting some lightning and thunder out of that. Arcs back down toward Masterson Station. There's a second cell in the western part of Fayette County going by Little Texas here coming up on Keeneland just to the west there of Dunbar. East side of Fayette County right out there by Avon. Uh, those extend down into Clark County. More storms up around Paris. So you get down toward Madison County either side of Richmond. Seeing some of those storms there. Some lightning and thunder now going on just around Stanford. Not as strong as yesterday's storms. But again, they are out there. It is going to be a quieter night than last night. Keeneland weekend starts OK tomorrow. Not a great day, but not a horrible one either. Finishes terrific in the eight day Saturday, which of course game day starts a stretch of some late summer warmth. Over two inches of rain at the Bluegrass Airport since yesterday takes us to our yearly total just below where we should be for the entire year. We still got most of October, November, and December to go. And there is your corridor of heavy rain from yesterday. One to three inches of rain fell in that. There were some pockets. Western Pulaski County got close to four. But how quickly you go from all that rain to none yesterday, or very little, less than a quarter inch in a lot of places. Fayette County, it rained hard last night. You see those totals, one and a half to about two and a half inches of rain. Forecast for tonight, evening thunder showers, otherwise cloudy, areas of fog will drop down to around 60. Tomorrow, clouds and fog early. Some sun will emerge, but a stray thunder shower can't be ruled out. We'll be in the mid 70s. Game day Saturday, close to 80, looking good. Sunday, sunshine, low 80s. Columbus Day looks great. Next rain chance comes in on Thursday. Keith has sports after this.